Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is for all the people who are using HubSpot or any other CRM application. And if you're using the CRM for ticket resolving purposes, this video is going to help you in saving your time because here I'm going to show you an automation which is going to create tickets in HubSpot with a contact associated with it automatically whenever any person is going to fill a ticket creation form. And we can set up this whole automation without any coding super simply. So let's begin. To set up the workflow, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I'm going to paste the link of this page in the description so that you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month. So guys, sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From here, click on this create workflow button. Here you can provide a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give a name here. So guys, here I have given the name. Now I'm clicking on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up. All right. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up this automation. So guys, trigger is that event which is going to start the workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. In our use case, guys, uh, we are we have created a form for creating a ticket. OK, and I have created this form using Elementor plugin of WordPress. You can use any other form builder as well. And as that form is going to be submitted, the workflow should trigger and create a contact in HubSpot. Then a ticket will be created associated with associated with the same contact. OK. So guys here in the trigger section, when you click, it will ask to choose the application. So here choose Elementor as the trigger application. Then select the trigger event as new form submission. And it will give you this webhook URL. So by following these instructions written here, we can create a connection with Elementor using this URL. And after that, we can capture the response of the connection. So guys, this is my uh, WordPress dashboard and this is a form I have created using Elementor. Okay. So here I'm going to click on edit with Elementor option and this is the editor. So guys, when you click on this, uh, on any element of this uh, form on the left hand side panel, you will find the content section and under the content, when you scroll down, you will find this actions after submit, uh, field. Here guys, you can just search for this webhook option and add this action here. And when you select this, the webhook field will appear here in the drop down. So this is how the field will appear. And here you have to paste this webhook URL that you got from the workflow. So just click on copy and paste this URL here in this webhook URL field like this. Okay. Now you can click on update button here and you can see the form is updated and now you can open it here like this by clicking on view page button. Right. And here you can see guys in the workflow, as we have copied the webhook URL, it started showing waiting for the webhooks response. This means now we can perform a test submission. Test submission means now we can manually uh, fill the form and submit the form and the data of that uh, form submission will be received here in the workflow. And with the help of that data only, we can move forward. So I'm opening up the form and let me fill in the details here. Let's say the name of the person who is filling the form is test name here. Let me put the uh, email address. Then I'm clicking on next here. Let me fill the phone number and a small message. Okay. And here I'm clicking on submit button and you can see the form is submitted. Okay. So I have created a simple form you can use any customized form. Okay. And this is how the response is going to be received here. You can see the details I have filled in the form is all received here. Right now, guys, after getting the form submission details, I want to create the contact here in HubSpot. So search for HubSpot here in the action window and select it. Then select the action event as create a contact and click on connect button. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with HubSpot CRM. And from this window, you have to select the account. It might bring you to the login window if you are not logged in, but I have already logged in here. 
so it is just asking me to choose your account and here i have clicked on choose account option and you can see we are getting connected with hubspot crm and here you can see after getting connected it will start showing these kind of fields so here it is asking for the coaching institute name these are the customized fields i have already created in hubspot which are appearing here uh, you can set up your hubspot according to your needs and the fields will appear here i am selecting uh, one of the options from the coaching institute name then it is asking for the company number company size size date of birth degree field of study gender these are the custom fields but i do not have the data here i just have a few uh, a simple data which i have received from the form so i'm going to map only the required things here to create a contact so here i am selecting any option here in the buying role and here in, it is asking for the members email membership notes so guys i am going to use this data that i have received here from the form submission and i am going to map these labels that i have received here in these fields in this step so you can just click here on this uh, field and the previous step will appear here like this and when you click on it you will find the data right here so from here just map on this uh, email label to map the email then it will ask for the membership notes you can uh, map this message label in the notes okay status is active and then you will find all these things you can use all the fields if you want right now i'm just uh, filling a few required details here you can see it started asking for the mobile number so let me map the mobile number here and here it is asking for the name so let me map the name okay all right so we are done mapping the required things now let me just uh, come back here uh, scroll down here and let me just test the connection with hubspot by clicking on save and send test request button and a new contact will be created here in the inside the contact section of hubspot this is the contact section let me show you this is the contact section and here are the some of the contacts that i have added let me click on save and send test request button in the workflow and let's see if we got a new contact here you can see guys it started showing this response let's check in the contact section i am refreshing the contacts page and here you can see guys a new person is added here with the name test name and these are this is the lead status created today at this time you can see okay and you can open it to see all other details as well all right so after getting the contact added it is time to uh, create a ticket and associate this contact with the ticket now before creating the ticket and associating it we need to have some data related to uh, the ticket and the contact in hubspot for that guys just click here on this plus icon and we are going to connect hubspot again here in this action window search for hubspot and here in the action event we are going to select get get all ticket pipeline option okay so select get all ticket pipeline so it, it will show you the data of the tickets pipeline okay so that we can use afterwards in the next step so click on connect now we can use our existing connection we are already connected with hubspot so you just keep this existing option selected and click on save one more time and you will be connected with hubspot again and click on save and send test request button and you will see this response and here you can see guys it has started showing the name of the pipeline that is support pipeline and here you can see the id of the pipeline and here you can see the label so when the label of the ticket is new and the status of the ticket is open the id is equal to one okay right and here the label when the label is waiting on contact and the status is open and the closing stage is false the id will be two so according to the stages or the labels uh, we have different kind of uh, ticket ids okay so th this this is the data we need it after uh, using this data we are going to delete this step okay this is not a required step now click here on this plus icon and here we are going to connect with hubspot again to connect a sorry to create a ticket okay now use the action event as create a ticket and click on connect use existing connection click on save 
okay and here you can see it is asking for the closure date creation date business units file uploads ticket status right so here you can see in the pipeline you have to enter the pipeline id and the ticket status so guys here i have i am creating a fresh new ticket okay so the status of the ticket would be a new one okay so when the ticket is new the status id sorry the ticket id is one you can see here so i'm going to put one here in this ticket status field put one and for the pipeline you can see for our pipeline the id is zero it is showing zero so just put zero here in the pipeline option okay right so if you have the creation date of the if you want to enter the creation date you can enter the date as well and uh, here you can select the resolution option issue faked or refund applied according to your business here category product issue billing issue select that here you can apply the priority medium high low here you can uh, uh, here you can give a name to this ticket so i'm giving the name here as new ticket right so i have given the name of the ticket as new ticket from the form the description is for form submission and i have entered these details okay now we can delete this previous step this it is of no use okay delete it right so guys now it is time to associate this contact that we have created uh, with this ticket that we have just created you can see we got it uh, now we can just create a ticket by clicking on save and send test request button click on save and send test request and a new ticket will be created you can see right so the ticket is created you can check the ticket inside hubspot as well let me open tickets for you and here you can see guys a uh, new ticket is created with this name new ticket from the form okay now let me associate the contact with the ticket for that just click here on this plus icon and connect with hubspot again and the action event now we are going to use is associate this one associate uh, multiple crm objects okay associate multiple crm objects then click on connect button from here keep existing connection click on save and here it is asking the object ids of the two things which you want to associate so we want the association of the contact with the ticket so here you have to put the contact id here you have to put the ticket id so you will get the two things from the previous steps so from this field just click here you will find the contact id from the second step here you can see the contact id here from the third step you can map the ticket id okay now choose the definition here as contact to ticket search for contact to ticket okay so here is contact to ticket option select it okay then click on save and send test request button all right so this is the response we got let's check in our ticket here i am opening this ticket for you and you will see the associated contact here you can see guys one contact got associated here and the name is test name this is the same contact that we have created using the workflow here you can see in the top uh, in here in the second step the name of the contact was test name the same contact got associated with a new ticket here inside hubspot so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done completing this whole automation and you have to set up it only once after that it will work whenever any form submission is going to be received the ticket will be created a contact will be created and they will both get associated automatically without any manual efforts and guys i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone the workflow in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel